Welcome, beautiful Scorpios, to your Life Path and Abundance reading, which is a combination of tarot and horoscope. So let's look and see what the messages are that Spirit would like for us to talk about during this reading today. Scorpio, let's see. We have breathe. Okay. Breathe. It looks like it's a big month for you, Scorpio. We have new life. How beautiful. She's like waking up from a sleep, a very deep sleep. Stretching, nice. And go to the sea. And this is all about being balanced, you know, about taking life as it comes. But you look like you have a great, a great month ahead for the month of February. Look at the card that represents you. This is your body. This is how you look to everyone. This is how you're appearing and showing up in your life. This is also Scorpio Ascendant for those who are curious, Scorpio Sun or Ascendant. The Ten of Water. Does it get any better? That's happily ever after. The big Buddha with the belly who's happy, the laughing Buddha. That is really the culmination for many of you. You might be getting married. You may have met the person that you will marry. Um, you know, for those of you who are married, you're in a very, very happy time in your life. Your partner, if you are in relationship, is very much, you're in an equal give and take energy, the six of earth. You have a lot of abundance here. We have that you have a very eccentric partner, that you your partner is very, you might be very geared to exercising and doing things. You know, somebody who comes in and surprises you, you know, falls down, you know, leaps on the bed and says, let's make love. You know, we have this Mars and Uranus energy, hot, sexy, take action energy, somebody who surprises you. So we see this energy, though, it's it's a magnification of somebody who's really giving a lot to you right now, Scorpio. Now, if you don't have this person in your life yet in terms of a marital or romantic uh, relationship, it can also mean that you are... Uh, you have a new business partner. You also may have someone who is a lawyer, an accountant, a financial advisor, or somebody who is you know, like a doctor. So those are also seventh house relationships. But this looks totally fun. This looks sexy. Eat, drink, be merry, take a step in, go to Vegas, get married unexpectedly. <laughs> so I don't know what you're up to, Scorpio, but please Please leave comments below because this looks like a very exciting month for you. The Five of Air says that in your earned money house, something has not been going terribly well for you in the work environment. You feel as though you have to, I would say, either your employer is having falling on some hard times that may be impacting your income, but it also means that you may feel as though you're not getting treated fairly in terms of uh, the end of the, you know, the end of the year, whatever the... Uh, the bonus money may be dried up this year. So it does look, Five of Swords looks as though, you know, you're balancing on your tiptoe, but you've had times in your life when you liked your money situation better. The things that you value are, um, you have some turmoil a little bit right now in, in terms of what you feel are your assets. When we look at your eighth house now of investments of, you know, this would be like 401k money, inheritance money, money from a partner, it does look as though you're stable in that way. If you were trying to get a loan for a home or something, the answer would absolutely be yes. So you feel secure even though day to day right now it's a little bit, it could be a little bit challenged. When we look at your neighborhood, how you feel about where you live. I'm getting the energy of Pluto. You know, I'm getting that chances are, you know, you're not really good, great friends with a bunch of neighbors. You're not, you know, the person having the barbecue and inviting 20 of your closest neighbors and friends over. The Hermit card says also it speaks to the pandemic, but 
the Pluto here, this Pluto energy is really indicative of you probably wanting to change neighborhoods. Now, for some of you, this could be a, a contract. You could be getting a new contract in your career. You could also be in the phase of wanting to sell a home. Um, it's also just really wanting to change up uh, communication and the things that are in your uh, sort of everyday life environment. When we look at the ninth house, you have this beautiful call. This is ruled naturally by Sagittarius energy. It looks as though you'd like to live somewhere else and possibly far away. It could be anywhere from 200 miles from where you live now to 2,000 miles or you know, however many miles that would be, but it looks as though you're longing for a home in a different place. You're being called there. This is a judgment card. You're being called to make a decision. So for some of you, you may be considering retirement, you know, wanting to just live very differently if you're not retiring, recognizing that you may have less income in the future if you follow your heart. When we look at your fourth house, Scorpio, it is lit. Your fourth house is your home, your emotional home, the, the place where you feel safe and secure, but it is your physical home. Look at what we have. The sun card is showing that you find a place that, you know, first of all, the home you live in is quite beautiful. It looks as though most of you want to change. But when we look at Saturn and Venus, Venus. We have the ability to buy something, a different sort of property. It looks like many of you are going to be selling a home, buying a home. Jupiter and Saturn, it's a very good decision. It's a time in your life when, you know, you're making big decisions about that. But you have Venus, a planet of money, abundance, love. Uh, that can be a love interest, a love partner buying a home with you, you know, and this sort of paying 50-50 for a home that makes you very happy, you know, making an investment. But Jupiter, planet of abundance, Saturn, stability, things that you earn, that you've earned, Mercury, contract, uh, communication. At the very minimum is your home is bouncing right now and you are happy. You feel as though it's the happiest place in the world rather than Disney World. <laughs> so it does look like you're very joyful in your home environment, Aquarius, very enlightened, um, but a lot of freedom. That's what you want around a home right now. You want to have a lot of freedom and there's it's just lit for you this month. So anything that you want to do, Sagittarius energy is protecting you. It gives you the patience to negotiate for a long term. We do have Mercury going retrograde this month. So it does show that you'll have the patience to stick to a negotiation to have a very new, different way of life. We haven't had these transits in this con in Aquarius. We haven't had this many planets since 1962. So it is an age of enlightenment in regards to your home and the way you want to live, your very most private life. We're looking at your career. Six of Water is your longing for a time in your life when your career seemed to be much more fun, more stable. Um, you know, this energy is that, you know, she's longing for something from the past. So it does speak very heavily to the fact that you may be leaving something behind. You may have left a career behind. You may get an opportunity to return to a former career. Okay. Leo energy, a career in which you had a lot of recognition. When we look at your fifth house, we see Neptune. We see the planet Pisces, Pisces is ruling Neptune and your fifth house, the chariot card. The chariot card says that you feel very, you want to rush in. You want to have a very dreamy, idealistic relationship. When it comes to love, this is love and romance. This is the fifth house of sexuality, sensuality, making love, do a little dance, you know, make a little love, get down tonight. Neptunian energy really gives it a very foggy, very mysterious energy. So romance for you sometimes feels as though 
you it, it it almost like escapes you like it's something you feel you have to chase and the energy around you though says that you really don't have to if you just stay still be happy be yourself your romantic life unfolds in a very organic way when we look at the energy of Virgo energy, service to others in terms of your relationships in your work life. This is typically organizational relationships, but it's hopes and dreams for your career and how that's paying off. And we really see a transition. Again, I get a very a strong vibe here that many of you are leaving something that you enjoyed very much, that you will miss very much, but I feel as though you're being called to it. I feel as though you are empowered for this journey that you are on. Because when we look at the sixth house, you are actively closing out a cycle that was very successful, the world card, something that you devoted your life to, something that you believed in, something that you will miss, but you are being called to greater things right now. The messenger of air tells us that you will work in unison with others. You know, you might have a job that works behind the scenes, but you may be partnering with somebody to start a new business. You have a guardian angel protecting you right now, Scorpio. And when we look at the reading, you know, you have a lot of change, but you're making choices. These are actively, uh, they're actively put in place by you. They're making you a little bit nervous. Change is, can be a little bit nerve wracking. So we do get that you're protected, that you need to breathe, you know, but look at this. You're choosing a brand new life path. How much more interesting could this be? It's exciting. It's exhilarating. It's a little nerve wracking, but you have it under control to the sea. Watery energy for Scorpio, Pisces. You know, you have this Cancerian energy that's really calling your heart to something bigger than yourself. When we look at the advice from the Spirit Cat Oracle, we see purification. Meet Calico, the maven of purification. She shows up in our life when it is time to let go of everything that no longer serves us. Long ago, she used to be a sad little kitty and believed that that was just who she was. When she realized her sadness was not her at all, but a heavy cloak that had been she had been wearing for far too long, she let the cloak drop off her shoulders and she felt as light as air. Now she is simply pure being. What old beliefs, stagnant energy, or unhealthy habits can you talk to the wind in order to set yourself free. Well, Scorpio, you've already done this. You've already accomplished this goal because look at you in this Buddha energy. I have goose pimples as I look at this energy. Whatever you're doing, you feel profoundly happy. You feel like it's a new lease on life. Cindy, you love from Chicago. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, please enter the contest. Details and personal reading information is in the description box below. Send some love back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what's happening, Scorpio. Take care. Bye-bye.